Hey, it's Kev from Blender Binge. In today's video, we're going to be going over the Boolean modifier in Blender 2.8, which isn't much different than the Boolean modifier in all other versions of Blender, but anyway, it's 2.8, so yay! Ready? Let's go! So for those who don't know, the Boolean modifier is a way of using one object to kind of carve into another object, or add to another object, or intersect and keep the intersection points of another object. So to demonstrate this, I have my cube, and I'm going to add in a mesh, uh, let's say a torus, okay? And I'm going to scale the torus up just a little bit so it kind of like intersects this cube. And I'm going to use the Boolean modifier. So I want to take this torus and I want to cut the torus out of the cube. To do that, I'm going to select a cube, okay, because that's the object I want to, to be cut into. And I'm going to go over here. Now, for those of you who have not seen Blender 2.8, uh, this is the 2.8 Alpha 2 build. Um, they have put all of these uh, icons down the side. They used to be across the top here, now they're on the side. And they're flat, so they're not colorful anymore. So I'm going to go to the wrench, which is still the modifier tab. Okay, so you click on this little wrench, go to add modifier, and hit boolean. And then you have to choose which object. So not right now we're on the cube, and we want to use this as the boolean modifier. So we're going to go over to this little eyedropper tool and we're going to click on the object that we want to use so in this case the torus so click on it and boom it automatically gives us intersect so originally we wanted to carve into the cube so all we have to do is change intersect to difference and now if i go up here to collection here and i expand this I hit this little eye by Taurus, and I turn off the eye to make it not visible, to hide it. And you can see that we have effectively used that Taurus to cut into our cube. Now, we had a, a few different little words here under operation that you saw. So, intersect basically intersected them. So, it took the, the cube, and it said, wherever the Taurus intersects, just keep that geometry. Alright, Union just blends the two together and leaves out all the stuff where it intersects, okay? So it kind of just takes all that stuff that intersects and cuts it out so you don't have those, those faces anymore, or those vertices or anything else in there, okay? Difference cut it out. Intersect just kept where it intersects. And Union puts it together and gets rid of the stuff that intersects, okay? If it doesn't make sense, when you play with this, you'll start getting a feel for it, and you'll start understanding more of what this is doing. Now, as long as this modifier is on, you can move this torus around. Okay, so let me go on difference just to show you. Okay, and I'm going to take this guy, and I'm going to move him around, and you can see it's moving where the cut of this thing is happening. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to animate this guy just to kind of show you what's happening. Alright, so I'm going to go down here and I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say keying, I'm going to say location, rotation, and scale, and I'll just turn on auto keying for now. Go here, keying, set a keyframe, and then I'll say go out to frame, I don't know, 60 here, move him up, rotate him a bit. All right, let me move them down. Okay, and then I'm going to turn off this torus just so I can show you what's happening here. So you can see my keyframing. I'm using that torus to go in and cut, and it's cutting into my object where it's where it's being animated. See that? Now, if I were to change that difference to say intersect, okay. You see that it's now just changing where that intersection is. So you could kind of use this for some really interesting motion graphics stuff and animation and effects and so on and so forth. But it's really cool in that as long as this modifier is on the cube, you can do whatever you want with that other piece that's cutting into it or a number of pieces that cut into it 
and create some really interesting kind of animations. But that's basically what's happening here. That's kind of that's the Boolean tool. Now keep in mind though, once you hit apply, this goes away and all that animation is gone. So if you want to continue having this Boolean effect, this cube, okay, and I'm moving the cube now so you can see it's moving into, into the torus and it's kind of affecting it, okay. Once you hit apply, that's, that's gone and it's pretty true for most modifiers. Once you hit apply, it's gone. So if you want to keep that ability to go in and edit, this this torus, okay, and if I were to scale it, you could see the same thing would happen, okay, it's okay, it's just cutting in where it intersects. Alright, so if you were once you hit apply, it's gone. Alright, that's gone. So that won't work anymore. Alright, so you wanna if you wanna keep it active, great. If not, if it's one time, you just use whatever you use to cut into it, delete it and it's gone, and then you have this cut out forever. So just know that going in, once you, once you operate with the modifier, it's gone, once you hit apply. Alright, so I can control Z and get back. Okay, so keep that in mind, that's basically your Boolean tool. Alright, and then you have your overlap threshold here where you can change how much of the overlap happens. I just find that it's fine to just leave it where it's at. I, I usually don't play with this. So, you just kind of get the cut where you want it, make the cut, and then you can leave it there, and you can hide it. Or you can hit apply and just be done with it and don't have it operating there anymore. Okay, so that's Boolean in a nutshell here. So if you got anything out of this, hit like, subscribe, share it, hit that little bell notification. And whatever you do, make sure you go in and play with this because that's where you're really going to learn. You can watch this video a hundred times, which would make me happy, that's fine. But honestly, I'd rather you go in and play and learn how this works and start getting a feel for it. Because it is a really cool modifier and you can do some really interesting things with it, okay? So, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.